Hey, it's me, Eric, your course coordinator, coming back at you this time to talk about how we're going to approach the project, assuming that you are going to be on a Chromebook or on your phone and you don't have access to Audacity. The platform that I'm going to recommend is BandLab. First off, it's free and it's a multi-track recorder that has a lot of the similar functionalities that you're going to find in Audacity, maybe slightly less robust. In order to create an account, you can use Facebook, you can use your Google account, or just your email address. They make it pretty simple. You can also download it on the App Store if you have an iPhone or Google Play Store if you're running Android. When you first log in, it's gonna ask that you create a profile. Just go ahead and do that real fast. It shouldn't take more than a few minutes to create the rudimentary underpinnings of your online personality. So once we get in here, we're going to click on the Create button in the upper right. That is going to allow us to open up a multi-track recorder, which, very similar to Audacity, is going to let us layer tracks and to create our podcast. Here we can see that when we start a new track, uh, we have a couple different options. We can put in MIDI instruments, a MIDI drum machine, voice and mic, which is going to be the one that we're going to use mainly at least for the underpinnings of our podcast. If you have a guitar or a bass at home and you want to plug in, you can use those as well. We can import audio files or MIDI files, sound files here, and we can browse through some pre-made loops that they already have on the platform here. For this video, we're just going to focus on the voice and the mic portion. If you're using a PC or you're using a Chromebook, you are going to need an external mic unless you have a microphone built into the actual computer itself. A lot of computers do nowadays. When you click voice and mic, your computer will probably prompt you to allow it to use the microphone. So you have to click allow, uh, otherwise you're going to be blocked from recording. Now this here is the main project window, and this is where all the magic is going to happen. This is essentially a multi-track recorder. We're going to start with one single track, and you'll notice that's here. It says voice and mic, and we can click these three dots right here. That's usually the settings menu, and we can do a couple different things. We can rename the track if we'd like. We can change the track color. There's just a lot of options here. So you're free to play around with that as you like. Down here at the bottom, this is details about my track. So I can see what microphone I'm using here, what channel I'm working on. As I'm speaking here, you can see my voice is changing and it, the levels are being monitored. I can change the pan from left to right. I can add some reverb to take some of those hard edges off my voice and I can adjust the overall volume. Down at the bottom, this is where we can add in some sound effects. We'll talk more about that later and also where we can edit the track itself. Since you will be working off a script, a very useful function here down at the bottom is the lyrics and notes. And when you click that, it's going to open up this box here and you can just paste your script right into there. And as you record, you can just be reading from there. So let's record a sample conversation using two tracks going back and forth and see what that looks like. So I'm going to click this record. You'll hear a metronome that counts you down. Hey, what class is your favorite? Yeah, mine too. And there we go, we have some audio. I'm gonna click add track, which is up here in this portion. Add another voice and mic track. Make sure the head is back to the beginning and hit record again. Hey, what class is your favorite? Y-A-T, of course. Yeah, mine too. So let's hear how that sounds when it all comes together. Hey, what class is your favorite? Y-A-T, of course. Yeah, mine too. Not the most engaging podcast in the world, but it's a start and that's what's important. As you can see, this tool is fairly simple to use. We can easily create many layered tracks back and forth. We have a script functionality. And in our next videos, we'll be going over how we can do some editing and how we can add some effects. So with that, I leave you to play around with BandLab and wish you and your group all the luck in the world in creating the best project possible. This is, as always, your course manager, Eric Dilleman, signing out.